Hey everyone, this is Chase at Rocky Mountain HVMC, and today we're going to show you how to tie down your dirt bikes. All right, so in this video today, we're going to show you guys how to tie down your dirt bikes in the back of your truck, whether it's one, two or three bikes, we're gonna show you some of our favorite techniques to do so. Now, if you're coming from our how to load a dirt bike video, welcome, but if you haven't watched that video, we do have a video where we show you step-by-step -step some of our favorite tips and techniques to get your bikes loaded into the back of your truck. So if you are looking for some tips for that, go watch that video, that's gonna really help you out. But we're past that point now, we've got the bikes loaded up in the truck and we're gonna show you how to tie them down. Now, a couple things you wanna keep in mind is that Everyone's gonna have different techniques that they like to use to tie down their bike in the back of your truck. A lot of times it depends on the setup you have, your truck bed length, the truck bed width, how many tie down attachment points you have. So just keep that in mind, but today we're gonna show you some of our favorite techniques to give you guys a good starting point. All right, so first up, we're gonna talk about single bike techniques. And the first way is probably the most common method. In fact, if you look at your owner's manual, this is typically gonna be the method that they're gonna recommend. So what you're gonna do, take your bike, walk it straight into your bed. Now we recommend doing it on the left side of the tailgate, or excuse me, the left side of the bed. That way the blind spot of the driver is gonna be open. But walk your bike straight in, okay? Get it up against the bed of the truck. And then what you're gonna do is just take a tie down in each upper front corner. You're gonna take those, and then you're gonna use those to secure the bike in place. Now as far as tie downs go, there's a lot of different tie downs that are out there. The kind that we like are the ones that have a carabiner, a soft strap, and a buckle. We like the ones from Rider Cargo, the inexpensive, they do a great job. But you're just gonna take each tie down, secure it to each side of the handlebars, and when you cinch them down, you, ha you don't have to go crazy and cinch it down as hard as you can. You just wanna make sure each side is nice and tight. You wanna make sure you have even pressure, but that's all. Simple method, straight in, tie down each side. So once you have your bike loaded up, if you have a long bed, pretty straightforward, shut your tailgate, you're good to go. But if you don't have a long bed and you wanna close your tailgate, what we'll always do is just pick up the back tire, swing it over to the right just a little bit, and that allows us to shut our tailgate. So that's method number one, single bike straight in. All right, so for method number two, that's very common for single riders, and this is a great method if you wanna load your bike in the back of your truck and get your tailgate up. It's called the diagonal method. And as you can see behind me, it's pretty simple. You're gonna load your bike in, you're gonna take your front tire, put it in the left front corner of your bed, and then the back tire is gonna be in the right rear corner, so the bike's gonna be diagonal across the bed of your truck. Now, once you have the bike loaded up for this position, what we recommend when it comes to tying it down is you wanna have your tie down straps at opposite corners of the bed. That way you're gonna have good leverage with your tie downs and it's gonna keep the bike really secure. Now from here, if you wanna make sure that your bike's not gonna be able to roll back and forth at all, couple tips. You can put the bike in gear, but also what you can do is you can take a third strap or tie down and secure it to the handlebar and then to that front left corner of the bed and that will prevent the bike from rolling back and forward. But that's gonna be our second method for a single bike is a diagonal method. Now another great way to load one bike or even multiple bikes if you want to in your trailer or your truck bed is with this lock and load transport system from Risk Racing. What's awesome about these is once you have these mounted up, they're gonna secure your bike and they don't use tie downs. So the way they work is really simple. Once you have them loaded up and mounted, once you've done that, you're gonna have these red knobs that you're gonna fasten down. You're just gonna walk your bike in. You walk your bike in until your foot pegs hit the anchors and the jaws. And then all you're gonna do is just take your foot or your boot, press down on this and you're actually gonna lock it into place, and then you take the locking pin, slide it in, and that's gonna secure your dirt bike. So if you wanna load your bike, but you don't wanna use tie downs, this is an awesome method to use. Now, one thing with these I do wanna point out is when you purchase one of these, they actually come with mounts for a trailer bed. If you're gonna mount this in a bed of your truck, you wanna pick up the truck-specific mounts. The part number's on the product page. Those will actually span the corrugation of your truck bed, so make sure pick those up to get these loaded in the back of your truck. All right, so now let's talk about loading two bikes. And the first method is pretty simple. It's both bikes straight in. So with this method, you're gonna secure both bikes pretty much the exact same way that we just showed you with the single. But when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that both bikes are a little bit farther out to the side. That way, when you have them secured, your handlebars aren't bashing each other. And also a couple tips with this. When I load the first bike, what I like to do is, is I'll tie it down, but I like to have the bike actually leaning or hanging a little bit towards the edge of the bed. And the reason for that is I actually want a little bit of slack on my inside tie down. That way, when I load the second bike, I have enough slack in that inside tie down from the first bike that I can lift it up to walk the second bike's front tire underneath that tie down. So that's gonna make it a whole lot easier. Also, it's very important with this method, you wanna make sure that your tie downs are in a good spot that you can reach them, especially when you're loading that second bike. If you don't have them in a good spot that's easy to reach, it can be quite the nightmare. Now, a couple more tips that we wanna give you with this method is if you have a truck that has a narrower bed, 
and you don't want your handlebars to hit each other, what you can do is offset one of the bikes. You could use a bike stand or even a toolbox for that. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. But also, once you have your bikes loaded up, unless you have a long bed, well, you're not gonna be able to close your tailgate. So unless your truck has a bed extender like this one behind us does, another great product that you can use is called the Moto Gate. And essentially what that is is a nylon tailgate for your truck, and it just secures everything in place. It's gonna prevent anything from sliding out the back of your bed. Now the second technique we want to show you for two bikes is going to be awesome for riders that struggle to get two bikes in the bed of their truck without the handlebars hitting, or maybe you have a truck that has a pretty narrow bed. So for this method, it's pretty simple. You're going to walk in each bike. Now you want to walk them in pretty dang close to the edge of the bed, and just before you get to the end with your front tire, you're going to actually angle it in. And what you want to do is you want to have both front tires meeting in the middle of your truck bed. That way, it's going to give you leverage. You're going to be able to tie down both bikes, and you're going to notice with this method, you get a lot of room in the middle, and you don't need to worry about your handlebars hitting each other. Another great benefit with this method is that for some trucks, depending on your truck bed length, using this method, a lot of riders are actually able to close their tailgate. So now let's talk about loading three bikes in the back of your truck. So this method's pretty simple. You're gonna take your first two bikes, you're gonna load them in just like we showed you earlier, where you got two bikes straight in. Now when you tie those down, don't tie down or don't cinch down your tie downs just yet. You wanna leave some slack in there to get the third bike in. But then for the third bike, to prevent your handlebars from hitting each other, what you wanna do is offset that bike. Well, what you can do, it's pretty simple. You can use a toolbox or you can use a bike stand like we've done in the back of this truck. And you're gonna put that bike stand right between the two other bikes. That way when you load the third bike, the front tire is gonna contact that. It will stop the bike from going farther forward. And then what you wanna do is just route your tie downs up in a way that's not pinching any cables. And you wanna look for any rub marks or any rub or wearing that you might get from your tie down. So as you're routing those, just be cautious of that. We like to actually just go right through the forks up to that third bike and then secure it down. So once you have those in place, then you're gonna to start to cinch everything down and get everything nice and snug. Now a couple tips that we have with this method. You gotta remember that you're gonna have the most leverage the higher up that your tie down anchor points are in your bed. So if your bed offers it and you have a higher anchor point for your tie down, we always recommend using those. Now another tip that we have with your tie downs is once you get the bike secure, it's always a good idea just to tie up any loose ends that you might have with your tie downs. That way they're not flapping around, they're not getting, getting snagged on anything. Now with this method as well, okay, we talked about using the bike stand or even a toolbox, but another great product that is actually built specifically for this is called the tie bar from High Roller. So what's great about that is it actually just mounts to the front of your bed. It's awesome for one or two bikes, but they have an extension they call the kicker. And if you get that extension, it's gonna allow you to load three bikes the exact same way we just did. But what's nice about that tie bar is that it has all the anchor points already on. So it just makes it really easy to get all your tie downs attached. And not only does it make it easier to tie your bikes in, but also what's nice is it actually reinforces your bed. So when you load your bikes in, you don't risk running your front tire into the bed and possibly denting it. All right, so there you've seen it. Those are some of our favorite techniques for loading one or multiple bikes in the back of a truck. Now everyone's gonna have a way that they prefer, so try out a couple different methods that we show you today and find which one you like best. But just remember, everyone's gonna be a little bit different. Now if you're in a moto van, well, you're gonna use the exact same techniques, except you're just doing it inside a van. But now what we wanna do is show you a couple quick tips and techniques on how to load dirt bikes on a trailer. So when you're loading a dirt bike onto a trailer, it's pretty straightforward. If you're loading it straight on, you just wanna make sure that your front tire is contacting something to make sure it's gonna stay still. So whether it's the railing of your trailer, or if you want, we sell wheel chocks, which are great, because those just mount right into your trailer, and your front tire goes right into those, it holds them in place. Then you're just gonna tie it down the same way that we showed you. Now, if you're gonna be loading your bike horizontally or sideways in the trailer, Okay, make sure your front tire is up against something. Now with the back tire, if you're loading it sideways, what you wanna make sure is that your back tire is not gonna be bouncing around going side to side. So a great tip for that are these lashing tie downs from Rider Cargo. So once you have your bike tied down sideways, you're gonna take one of these, secure it around the back tire and then to the, the bed or to the trailer, and that's gonna keep that tire from bouncing around. All right, so now that we showed you our favorite techniques for securing bikes in the back of your truck or on a trailer, we just wanna show you some products that are gonna help you out with tying down your bikes, also with security. So the first one is just a fork brace from Rider Cargo. So what's nice about these, they just go between your front tire and your front fender, and it just allows you to cinch down the bike, get it nice and tight, but it's not gonna compress your forks. So it's just gonna add longevity to your fork seals as well as your springs. So that's gonna be a fork brace. The other, are tie down extension straps. So these are from Rider Cargo. These are great for a couple reasons. One, if you have tie downs that don't have a soft strap and you don't wanna scratch up your handlebars, these are great. Also, like you've seen today, a couple of the methods, you need to have as much length as possible on your tie down. So if you have a scenario where you don't have enough length on your tie downs, you can use these to add some extra length. So those are the tie down extension straps. 
And now another great one are these strap rings from Canyon Dancer. So what these do is allow you to have another tie down point on your bike. Now they're normally really popular for bigger bikes like ADV bikes that have fairings, but you can honestly use it on any bike. So a popular place that dirt bikers like to use these is actually on their triple clamp on their forks. So all you do is just take out a bolt and put this between the bolt and your triple clamp, cinch it back down, and it gives you another anchor point for your tie downs. Now when it comes to securing your bikes and your luggage in the back of your truck, we all want that peace of mind that when we're not in our truck, that our things are gonna be safe and we wanna deter theft as much as possible. So there's a couple of straps that we offer that we wanna show you that are gonna help give you some of that peace of mind. So the first one are the lock straps. So as you can see with these, they are massive, they are very long, and what's awesome is that you have a carabiner on each end, and each carabiner has a three-digit combination lock. So once you have that set, you're not gonna be able to open up the carabiner to unlatch it. And also you're gonna notice that you have a steel core that goes along the entire length of the strap, so it makes it very difficult to cut. So that's the lock strap. And the other that I wanna show you are gonna be the security straps from steel core. So with these, they're gonna be a little bit more cost effective than the lock strap, so not as expensive, but same idea. You're gonna have this buckle that's gonna lock with a key. So after you have the strap tied down, you can just lock it up so people can't just open the buckle and undo your tie down. And then just like with that lock straps, there is a steel cord going all the way through it, it makes it difficult to cut. So again, if you just want some tie downs, they're gonna offer a little bit more security, give you some peace of mind. These are some really good options. All right, so there you have it. We have shown you today some of our favorite techniques for securing one or multiple bikes in the back of your truck or on a trailer. If you guys have any tips or any methods that you like to use that we didn't show today, well, write below because we would love to know what those are. Also, remember the products that we showed you today, they're gonna help you out. To pick up any of those, just click on the link at the end of this video. If you guys do have questions, write your comments below and we'll get those answered. Remember guys, RockyMountainATVMC.com orders over $75 ship free. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, well, give it that thumbs up, subscribe, and that's going to keep you up to date and in the loop on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos and tip videos like you just saw today. I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain. See you on the trails.